Here's five mistakes you should avoid if you're looking to start a YouTube automation channel. Let's dive right in. Number one is being a copycat. This is probably the biggest mistake I see among small faceless YouTube channels and YouTube automation channels, especially when they're starting out. Instead of learning how to properly model their competitors, take inspiration and ideas, they just copy them. And when copying, the chances of getting views are very, very low. And trust me, I've been there and done that. The best way for me to illustrate this and to show you how you can go about modeling and how not to copy your competitors would be to show you a couple examples and that's what i'm gonna do so the first video that i think the idea started from was posted by this channel called inside the industry five months ago half a million views and it's called mike tyson confronts dd for paying one million dollars for tupac's death but then this channel right here this happened did a similar video called mike tyson confronts Didi over new evidence that he ordered Tupac's murder. Although the first video was posted five months ago and got half a million views, this happened, modeled that idea three months ago, and this one got 1.4 million views. You can see that they took the same idea, but it's not that. It's the fact that they worded it better, they framed it better, maybe they came up with more interesting footage and all that stuff, and they also have a little bit of a bigger following, but still, they took an idea, they modeled it, they didn't just straight up copy. This happened to like 600,000 subscribers and they got 1.4 million views, whereas the original idea only got half a million views. A great example of modeling right here. Now, an example of copying that I wanna show you in the celebrity niche, we're gonna stay with this happened just like in the previous example. They made a video three years ago called How Justin Bieber Ruined Selena Gomez. Da, da, da. Five minute video, 2.6 million views. This was probably trending right then. And then we have this video right here from Viral Vision, How Justin Bieber Ruined Selena Gomez dot 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 not only vital vision was late by about 10 months in making this video but they also didn't add any value in the title they didn't change the thumbnail too much they didn't add significant value to it and as a result they only got 2,000 views whereas the original one got 2.6 million views so again i hope this drives it home guys you don't want to be a copycat you don't just want to straight up copy somebody else's take inspiration add a little bit of value and chances are it will work good for you as well now the second thing that i want to talk about is choosing the wrong niche this one is very important youtube automation and faceless YouTube channels are rising in popularity very, very quickly, and more and more people are talking about them, which I couldn't be more happy about. But most of the videos that I see, especially on short form platforms like TikTok and maybe even Instagram, I see a lot of people making this, oh, here's how you can make $3,000 a day posting rain sound videos. Here's how you can make $5,000 a day copying and pasting YouTube videos. Here's how you can do this and that. They position this as a get rich quick scheme with those videos that are, have no added value. You just download and upload them. And in reality, they do not work. So all those niches that you guys see that seem too good to be true, sometimes they are. Brain sound videos, not a good niche. Fireplace videos, not a good niche. Meditation videos, not a good niche. There are definitely exceptions that apply to the rule, but over 95% of people are going to have a very, very hard time making any money because it heavily goes against the YouTube TOS. So again, the mistake that you want to avoid here would be falling in this trap of this get rich quick, go get a quick dollar. Instead, what you want to do is you want to do your own research. Think of a couple ideas of YouTube channels that you want to start and then you want to watch YouTube videos around it. I have mobile videos on the channel about channel ideas that you can start, YouTube automation niches. I kind of give you a long list of profitable niches that actually work with examples and once you have that, you want to narrow it down to the ones that you like, the one that you think you'd be interested in and you want to run your channel in and a good indicator to know that a niche is healthy and it's still working. You want to look for new competitors. You want to look for successful channels that have came into the niche less than eight, maybe nine months ago and are already making money. Now, go Going for the third mistake that you want to avoid when you're starting your YouTube automation channel is to not fear competition. I see a lot of people coming up with this excuse like, oh no, that's not going to work. It's too saturated. There's too much competition. There's too many channels. All I hear when they say that is an excuse. I want you to think about the number of YouTube users that there are out there, the number of consumers that are on the platform each and every single day, each and every single week, and each and every single month. I want you to compare that with the number of creators. I can tell you it's less than 1%. And now if we add the filter of, those people who are creating content, how many of those channels are faceless channels? If you look up the data, you'll probably get rid of this saturation competition thing once and for all because the numbers speak for themselves. There's always room for somebody who's going to come in and make something a little bit different, twist something, add a little bit of something, add their own thing to it. And this is definitely the formula for success. The fourth mistake on today's list, and this is something that I was doing myself in the beginning, like I was probably abusing this when I first started, was to look for shortcuts. Everybody was to look for shortcuts. Now, I understand if you haven't yet made your first thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, three thousand dollars, ten thousand
thousand dollars per month you are very impatient i remember when i first wanted to start i would bombard all these gurus all these people on instagram asking them hey how can i start how fast can it happen what can i do to speed this up what are the tricks what are the hacks what are the lessons i wanted that get rich quick thing and because of that i started looking for shortcuts how can i hack the system how can i speed things up how can i boost my views how can i do this crazy weird strategy idea black hat under the table method that nobody has ever heard of or nobody has ever tested to make my videos go viral and to make a lot of money i was very excited and i looked for all the possible ways until i realized that most of them don't work those shortcuts only come into play when you know you don't have the best videos when you know you don't have the best product it's definitely worth taking the time to improve the product to improve the videos in this case rather than trying to make half for it with all these other tricks and gimmicks and the fifth mistake is not set the right expectations so you see all these channels that are posting one video five videos 10 videos 20 videos 30 videos 50 videos and then they suddenly quit what that's telling me and what i was doing in the beginning they didn't have a plan in mind they were just betting all Always on the next video oh i think the next one's gonna succeed the next one's gonna succeed the next one and if you continue doing that and if you just believe on each and every single video and if you bet on each and every single video at some point you'll just say well this doesn't work i posted so many videos it doesn't work instead what you want to do is you want to count in hundreds commit to posting at least 100 videos i know there are some people out there who say you got to post 10 videos you got to post 30 videos 33 videos all these numbers i just want to go for 100 with what i know now and with all the information that you guys have available not only here on my channel but on the internet in a hundred videos if you actually want to improve if you look at what you've done wrong in the previous ones and if you try to make each and every single one one percent better and one percent better one percent better a hundred videos will be more than enough but again you want to have a plan from the beginning you want to know i commit to 100 videos or i commit to 50 videos i commit to 20 videos whatever it is you just want to commit and you want to test things right instead of just going from one day to another from one video to another and hoping that it's going to work you want to have a plan from the beginning and then stay committed to the plan try to make your videos better you never know which video is going to explode you never know which video is going to pop if you're not consistent if you don't have a plan and if you're not committed you don't know whether that video is going to be your first video your 10 video your 17th your 77th your 107th you don't know which number that video is going to be all you can do is commit reset your expectations and just allocate more time allocate more energy be a little bit more patient in the macro while still being aggressive and putting in the work in the macro i can tell you there's nothing more frustrating than giving up on the right thing on the wrong time and you don't want to pass on the best business model the best opportunity to make money online in 2024 and as i always like to say don't get fancy don't get cute the work needs doing but you might want to avoid these mixtapes and you want to be mindful of them when starting your first channel good luck to you